Okay, so next up here, we've got Who's Your Daddy? Food and Travel. And Who's Your Daddy? Food and Travel says that they make videos on a iPhone 11 Pro. They do food and travel reviews. The goal of the channel says, I want to do food and travel reviews full-time on YouTube. The question, how important are channel keywords and how do you add them on a mobile? So in order to add them on a mobile, so in terms of how important are they, that's one of those features to where you want to use it. It's there, right? Every feature that YouTube has, um, it's to either help viewers understand something, help the platform understand something, or help their system understand something. So because of that, you wanna make sure that you're using all of the different features that you have at your disposal, and the channel keywords are a part of that. Um, so in terms of how to get to them on a mobile device, all you have to do, um, basically when you go to YouTube on your mobile device, um, what you have to do is right up here in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna see the three-dot menu, same exact thing on an iPhone. Um, and then once you're on that three-dot menu, you wanna go down to request desktop site. And then once you click on that, boom, then it's going to forward you to a thing. Oh, it made it right in. Good. Um, typically, it would forward you, forward you to a thing that would say, uh, you know, whatever your, uh, uh, it would say like, it'd have like a YouTube studio logo on there and it would say something about the app and uh, trying to do that. You know, and it might actually do that when I hit creator studio. Hold on. Yeah, okay, it does that when I hit Creator Studio. So when I click on Creator Studio, then it tries to uh, have me do it. But if I click on skip to YouTube Studio there at the bottom, then I'm going to take this down. Then once you do that, you click into the settings over in the left-hand navigation. And then click back on here again. You are going to go down to Channel. And then from channel, you want to go down into, I think it's under advanced settings. And then hold on, it's going to go to advanced channel settings. Yeah. So you can do it under advanced channel settings there. Yeah. So when you click on that, um, that advanced channel info, then you'll be able to, um, then you'll be able to make it over to, uh, over to there. But anyway, like you can click around there and the beauty of going in on a mobile device of going in through your um, desktop mode like that is what happens is it actually turns your your mobile device into a computer of sorts and you can access deeper analytics as well. So like if you're using the YouTube Creator Studio app, it's awesome. Um, and every content creator should use it. It's free, it's put out by YouTube. Um, but in addition to that, it's pretty limited though in the stats and they're working on it, right? They're making it better. Um, but even though it's limited in the stats that they give you, one of the really awesome things is that if you uh, enter your stats through your desktop mode on your browser, then it opens up all of the analytics that you would normally see. So you can do awesome stuff. Like you can watch your audio, you can watch your video. You can watch your video while looking at your audience retention report. So you can see exactly what's happening in your video when people are, are leaving your video which is awesome, super valuable. So because of that, um, you know, you definitely wanna be looking at your stats. If you're, if you're a mobile content creator, you definitely wanna be looking at your stats from, uh, from, that, uh, from that perspective. For tools and resources to help you with your YouTube channel, make sure you check the links in the description of this video. And to have your question answered live, join us Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern.